Hi friends, uh, I've already released the top priority question for CA inter costing and I hope you have gone through it and done your preparation along with this. We have also released a playlist where these are covered. Now in this video, I am going to tell you in case you have not completed a chapter, maybe you have not done chapter 2 or chapter 4 or chapter 5 or chapter 10 or chapter 11. If you have not done any chapter because of your time constraint, because of understanding gap, at least what you should do so that you are comfortable in facing exam. Now what I did is, this is your past historical breakup starting from May 2018 your January attempt this breakup was given and I went ahead and analyzed analyzed all these papers to understand is there any specific area which is regularly tested in exam any specific area which keeps getting frequently tested in exam if at all any trend is there in that and I did observe a trend in chapter 2 this is the trend analysis in chapter 2 Economic order quantity and your inventory levels that is reorder level, maximum level, minimum level has been tested 12 times. I think around 17, 18 questions have come from this chapter. But EOQ and inventory level. So if you are not able to do other areas, complete EOQ calculation where you have multiple types of question. You have basic EOQ question, then you have question with quantity discount and inventory levels. Just see this. If you are not able to do others. Then chapter 3 again I observed a trend, labor turnover ratios that is your flux method, separation method, replacement method has been tested 6 times in exam. Not able to do other areas, leave it, at least cover this area. Chapter 2, EOQ and inventory levels cover it. Chapter 3, labor turnover ratios cover it. Chapter 4, treatment of under or over absorption, this chapter has not been tested that much. I think it's a very big chapter, but still not that much tested in exam. Three times it has come. Along with that, if you still want to do more, then machine R rate you can do, which would have also come some two, three times in exam. But important area, one area I have picked from most of the chapters. Chapter 5, there are only one, two types of questions. So I have not specifically mentioned anything. One question keeps coming in every attempt. So please see that. Chapter 6, which is your cost sheet chapter, every attempt a question comes. But here, we did have one category of question. I'll show you that question where you do something called as distribution of cost product wise. Now, what is product wise distribution of cost? Uh, I'll show you the question so that at least you prioritize this question from your exam preparation point of view. This one where we had this USB cable and lightning cable type of a question. This has come four times in exam till now. USB cable and lightning cable question. Others you are not able to do at least this variant of question and I could also see that questions are asked on inventory valuation on the inventory valuation side questions are coming in exam. Then chapter 7 reconciliation has been tested 9 times around I think 14-15 questions have come 9 times reconciliation got tested 3-4 times journal entry was asked. So chapter 7 just to do reconciliation others you are not able to do okay. Chapter 8, understand how economic batch quantity is calculated. 4 out of 6 times, 6 times questions have come. Chapter 9, and not very much tested, so I have not mentioned anything. Chapter 10, non-equivalent units. What is non-equivalent units? Is when you start your chapter, there are certain questions without degree of completion. And then there are FIFO method 1 material, FIFO method 2 material. Ignore that 1 material, 2 material, average cost 1 material, 2 material and your in inter process profit but at least non equivalent units non equivalent units 10 times and if possible see inter process profit also because has not been tested for a long time i feel question may come that is more of a gut feel but history says 10 times they have asked non equivalent units question in chapter 11 nrv method of distribution and a decision on further processing put together 7 times and if you still want to do one more thing, by-product costing has come 3-4 times in exam. Chapter 12, I did not observe any major trend. Transport costing comes, sometimes they ask hotel, hospital, last time they asked a cinema costing. So, no major trend is observed in chapter 12. So, I am not able to give you any one specific area to look at. Chapter 13, very big chapter, not able to do other things, you understand basics and all. You are not able to do 
one is two years information question what is two years information question something like this they will give data for two years sales one year two year change in profit by change in sales formula or they may give cost for two years or sales for two years so that is one type of question which is tested four times in exam that is your two years information question and limiting factor has been tested five times in exam five times limiting factor is tested at 14 i did not observe any trend in standard costing sorry material variances five times labor variances five times voh and foh put together five six times they have asked either only voh or put together they have asked chapter 15 functional budgets that is your production budget sales budget has come seven times in exam flexible budget has come five times in exam and budget ratio two times to summarize to summarize not able to do any specific chapter Chapter 2, do questions on EOQ and inventory levels from my material or from my bigger material. If you can do it from bigger material because you are just doing one area. EOQ and inventory levels. Chapter 3, labor turnover ratio from the bigger material. Only some 3-4 questions will be there. Chapter 4, treatment of under or over absorption. Chapter 5, no specific priority. You can just cover the questions which are there in the, this material. One question in every atom. Chapter 6, Cost distribution among two products. They'll give data for multiple product and uh, inventory valuation is also asked. Closing inventory valuation. Chapter seven reconciliation has come nine times in exam. Chapter eight economic batch quantity four times. Chapter ten non equivalent units. Non equivalent units is where you do not have degree of completion type of a question. Abnormal loss, abnormal gain, accounting, all that can come. Chapter eleven NRV method. Decision on further processing calculation and by product costing and maybe by product costing chapter 12 i did not observe any trend chapter 13 two years information question and limiting factor question and limiting factor question chapter 14 again no trend has been observed you may have to give weightage to everything material labor voh and foh chapter 15 functional budget seven times flexible budget five times budget ratios two times now all these chapters if you have not covered the chapter, please prioritize this. If you have covered the chapter, you can do other areas, but higher priority to this. Somewhere feel out of this itself, paper may come for around 40 marks, around 40, 50 marks can come from this area itself. I have just picked one, one area from every chapter. I feel, I feel around 40, 50 marks can get tested from this area itself. Apart from that, other areas are there. So, you can prioritize this. I am not saying only this you have to see. If you have not completed any specific chapter, then at least see this. You have not done chapter 7. Do reconciliation at least. You have not done chapter 2. Do EOQ and inventory levels. You have to obviously do at least some 8-9 chapters fully. And some chapters where you have not done, you have, have an allergy towards a chapter. At least cover this. At least cover this. And I have uploaded my playlist which is around 35 to 40 hours. Concept and questions are solved. You want to quickly cover concept in the timestamp. Just click the concept area. See only concept. You want to see with question. See with question. With this, I am sure you will move towards an exemption in the subject of cost accounting. Thank you, friends.